Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Fund. My name is William Juma. In this episode, I want us to talk about how to solve the maximum execution time error of 60 seconds that we usually receive when we have scripts that run beyond 60 seconds in our Laravel application. So I have a script here, which I'm using to just generate six digit numbers and then save them to the database. Just to show you what I have here, I have, um, this is a controller method, which I'm calling number controller. We also have a model called number model. So after that, we are actually generating the numbers. This is not important because that is not what I'm talking about. But then after we generate our combination of a number, then we are able to call the model and save. Of course, I also have the routes uh, in our routes folder, a route which I'm going to just call generate so that we hit this method in our controller. And then once this method is hit, we are going to generate the numbers and then save them in the database. I want to just show you what my model is having. So inside models, we have the number again. So I have protected fillable number and we just have number and uh, another uh, value or another column there. And if I'm to show you what my database looks like, I will open uh, migrations inside here. So basically this is just what we have in our database. And that is what our application does. So if I go ahead and attempt to visit generate, so what is happening, this, um, the endpoint you'll be hit. And of course, if we are to check our database, you will find some numbers are being generated, but this will not go very far. So if I'm to just check in the database called Laravel, as you can see, we already have 6,000 numbers already generated, but it will not go long. After a while, you will find that we will encounter an error. So let us just wait for it. And there we have it. Maximum execution time of 60 seconds ex exited. So there are ways in which you can be able to do it. I have attempted to go to config and then go to php.ini and then inside here under edit, I can be able to click on find and we can search max underscore execution underscore time. And if we search that, you can see it is set to 120 seconds. So most of the times you can be able to change this maybe to, let me put 60 minutes like that, 3,600 seconds. And I want us to try and see if actually that solves the problem. So let me just refresh again. And you can see that doesn't cut it. The problem still persists. And in that case, we will have to be a little bit more, um, do it in a different way for us to be able to achieve that. So for us to be able to make it and be able to have the correct uh, thing that we want to achieve being done, we can be able to just set, whenever you are having a function in your function before the, 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 at the top of it, the entire top of it, that is where you're supposed to put this. And so we can just be able to set our ini value. So ini.set and the value that we are setting is max execution time underscore execution underscore time. And once we do that, we can be able to put a comma and set it to maybe 60 minutes like that. And now this will be able to solve our problem. If I am to refresh, now a second you be able uh, uh, 60 seconds you pass but our script will continue running so basically that is how you can be able to cure this problem and continue coding without issues happy coding if you like the video give it a thumbs up you can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you can also share your uh, input inside the comment section. And in case you have any challenge, you can also shoot in the comment section. Thank you very much.